be in a room tonight where we're honoring coaches who really live the principles of uh, Positive Coaching Alliance, where they compete to win with their teams, but they also uh, make sure that their teaching life lessons is really phenomenal. First off, it's hugely important to understand your environment and where you're coaching at and understand your kids. And for me, it's been trying to match our athletic culture, honestly, with our school's culture and then trying to give those kids a voice in what they're doing because if they can buy in and feel like they're invested in it, then it's still the best way to get kids to give you everything they got. Oh, this ranks up there. This ranks up there because, you know, it was like a national award and, you know, to be the top 50, which, you know, it's, it's just a, a wonderful honor. Wonderful honor, I had no idea. Everything you do, you, you can't really be a sore loser. You don't get a promotion, you don't get a, the job that you want. And it's really important to learn that lesson early that, hey, no matter what, I'm gonna hold my head up high, I'm gonna treat myself with respect, I'm gonna treat my opponent with respect. And, you know, it's something that I definitely try to stress. To be honored here tonight because of something that I love, and it, it does take patience, it does take um, sort of a, a lot of understanding, but I love it. And uh, to be rewarded for something that I really enjoy doing is amazing. You forget that people remember the small things that you do, um, and to be honored in this way makes you just feel special and you know, appreciated. I think this is a chance to grow into something special because we see too many examples in sports where whether I'm watching a, you know, a travel game or, or you're, any parents are sitting there and you're seeing how, whether it's coaching or parenting, it's kind of gone, gone awry. We have ch 17 chapters around the country, but I think the PCA New York City could be the, I don't want to say it, one of the very most important. It's the media center of the world. It's the financial center of the world. And what we can do here could just change the culture of youth sports in this country.